All right, moving on. National politics is dominating many conversations ahead of next year's election. Now, Nollywood hunk, Enyinayangwigwe has encouraged more young people to be interested in politics. Now, the Badamosi actor, while speaking to Entertainment News on Channel's television, explained that young people cannot continue to shy away from politics and later complain of non-inclusion in governance by the old guards. We do not intend to rule by force. They came with tanks. Tanks are going to run like a wish to happily inform you of the successful ousting of General Ibrahim Badamasi. I think in our generation, we are a transition generation. You know, uh, we are at 50, you're still a small boy in this generation. At 20, my, our parents were like men, right? So I think our generation is a generation that thinks without. However, the old guard that still hold the reins of power thought within Nigeria. That was all they had. Now, we have, been, we have grown into a generation that can, oh, there's no government job. I can go online. I can do Bitcoin. I can do Forex. We are a globalized generation. So there is a lot of leverage without government to function. So there isn't that internal consideration and concentration of participation by our generation. And you can't change you can't, a goat can't wake up with zebra stripes in one night of sleep, right? So it's a journey. So while I am all up for youth participation in politics and integration, I also think we can't do it without the old guard handing over the baton gently with training. So we, while there are young people in politics, not enough to change you know, the status quo, not enough in participation. Democracy cannot thrive without politics. It always, politics will always come first. Politics will always be a numbers game. It will always be a, a clout game. It will always be a money power game. And our bright ideas, globalized ideas, will not give us that overnight. So we have to start to get ourselves into the system. Now, where the old guard come in is to be intentional and absorbing and making it palatable for us. He also shared some insight on his foray into acting. In my case, I, I uh, like to say serendipity got me into acting, not intentionality. But at the point of serendipity, I got to understand on the journey that this is actually what I'm meant to be doing. So it came to me late that what I had started was actually not as much of a mistake, but it was ordained to happen so. So I picked it up from there. And uh, because I happen to be someone who's more like a student of human behavior, I like to say in my own head, I like to observe people. I like to be and stay plugged in in whatever environment I find myself, energy I find myself, beyond humans, but the environment as a whole. So uh, my understanding comes from that place because wherever I am, be it in the ghetto, be it in the, uh, in the highbrow area, wherever it is, as long as there are human beings there, even animals, I, f I am fascinated and genuinely interested, whether it be in my silence or in my you know, chattiness. You know, I am genuinely connected. So somehow I find that um, there is a cache where this whole you know, pro thing that I consume, I see, I hear goes may not be very voluntary, but at a time where there's a character to be played, I find that I have that as a potpourri of options, of people I've met, interacted with, that kind of, I can relate to something from the character's description, his experience, his journey, and everything else. So I, I kind of come from a place of human behavior to understand what each character I have to play is going through, and the city eyes are the windows of the soul. The moment you emote genuinely and believe that the car camera captures, you know, what, uh, what you emote. So that, that happens to be my process. And why that is unconventional is like most of my colleagues come through uh, theater. They got, come through theater arts in school or acting classes or whatever it is, you know. But at the end of the day, 
the same thing I always say, 10 plus 10, 20, 19 plus 1, 18 plus 2, 8 plus 12, 11 plus 9, you find your 20. And in that way, if you can find your own 20, you make a mark that is different from the other 20 people or 100 people who have been taught by one teacher using the same skill and the same formula, the same books.